As a fisherman, whether you're chasing bluegill in a local pond with your kids, or you're out on big water chasing trophy fish, a fish of a lifetime, you don't want the knot on your fishing line to be the weak link. Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, I'm gonna show you the one fishing knot that you need to know. So here's the deal folks, there's a lot of fishing knots out there. Uh, a lot of different applications for them, a lot of different ways to time, uh, a lot of confusion if you are a new angler. If you are new to fishing, you got all this stuff thrown at you, which one's stronger, which one's the best. I'm gonna give you one knot that has so many applications uh, when it comes to fishing, from tying on lures, to tying on hooks, snelling hooks, tying line together, and it's all based around one simple principle, a forming a loop, wrapping around that loop and what you're tying to and pulling it tight. Now, is this some big secret, some hitting gem of the fishing world? No, it's called the uni knot. Uni for universal. Uh, it will pretty much work in any application that you come into. All right, so the first knot that I'll show you is how to use a uni knot to tie on a hook or a swivel or a lure. First thing you're gonna do is just go through the eye of the hook. Boom, you got that like that. What you will do is you will make this parallel, get these lines parallel. Then you're gonna form a loop, just like that. Again, the loop is the backbone of any uni knot. Then you got a loop like that. What you can do is just roll that around, wrap it around through that loop three, four, five times. I'm gonna do it three just for effect. It's gonna pull tight like that. And what you'll do is you'll just slide it down the line to the hook, pull on this end and that end at the same time. Pow, make sure this is tight. Again, that's adjustable, you can loop it off. Your knot's good to go. All you do is trim it off. You got a knot there. That is how you use the uni knot to tie on a hook, lure, or a swivel. Now the next one is the snail. This is how I learned about the uni knot. I like this method for snailing a hook because you can tie it to a leader line that is already attached to your main line. We'll come through the eye, get this parallel to the shank of the hook. All right. Look with any uni knot, you're gonna make a loop. I'm going to tell you this is a lot easier to do when you're holding the hook in your hand. I've got it in this vise, it's a little more difficult. You got your loop going. What you will do is wrap it again, just like with the other knot. And you're gonna go around the shank of the hook, back through the loop, three or four or five times. Boom. I'll do it three there just for effect. You'll pull down, pulling on both ends. And then, because it's tight, just cinch it up to the eye. Bam. Your snail is on there. You are good to go. Like I said, I would go more than what I did here. I did two or three of them just to show you what it looks like. All right, I'm going to go through snailing one more time just so you can see it. We'll put a few more loops in it again through the eye of the hook parallel to the shank, make your loop. And again, you'll be holding this in your hand, so it'll be a little bit easier to do. But get that loop and then start wrapping it through the loop and around the shank. I said doing this with holding the hooks a lot easier, it's just for the purpose of letting you guys see exactly what I'm doing, it's easier for me to mount this hook in one place. That way everything stays in focus with the camera. A few more on there, there we go. Got them through there. Now I'm gonna pull it tight. Pull it right up on the eye. Pow, that one is good to go. Now I'm using just monofilament high-vis line. I normally use clear leader material. I just did this so you guys can see. There's your snailed hook using the uni knot method. 
Well, another important use for a uni knot, and I use this all the time, is when I am tying two lines together. Uh, that could be when I'm re-spooling a reel, maybe tying on the new line onto uh, the backing, or when I am putting on a leader line. Say I've got a spinning reel with some braid and I wanna put, put a piece of clear monofilament on it, I need to tie two lines together. That's what I'm gonna do here. So you're gonna start out getting your lines parallel, just like uh, with some of the other ones, getting it parallel to the shank or to the other lines. You're gonna make your loop, Loops critical to any uni knot. Once you get that loop, you're going to start wrapping. Again, three, four, five times. We'll go through here. About oh, three. You got that like that. All right. And what you're going to do is grab the tag end. You're going to pull it down, cinch it up tight. That's all you need to do for now. You can tighten it'll tighten itself up in a minute. Then you just repeat the same thing on the other side of the knot that you just made. You got a knot here. You're gonna do the same thing. Make your loop. Wrap three, four, five times. Pull it tight. Then what you will do is you got these two knots. You're gonna pull them together they will tighten up on each other. You've got two lines tied together. A very effective knot. Hopefully if you're re-spooling the reel, you don't get down to the back end on it. But if you do, you can rest assured that that knot right there is not going anywhere. Well folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're gonna like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no, do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good. <laughs>